Nope. Wait, are we live? Shit. I should be better at this. Yeah! Okay, we're good. <laughs> Stop it. Hello. How you guys doing? You guys feeling all right? Did I tell you? Do you guys know that I I can do this? No editing. That's exciting for me because sometimes I need a minute to process what the music has done to me. And that means there is upwards of sometimes like a minute worth of just silence. Dead silence. And maybe even longer other times because I'm like, what the fuck? I'm trying because I can feel the pressure. I'm like, I know I need to do this. I need to do this. And I like, I don't want to edit. Like, that's the thing. I don't want to edit. I don't want. But now this really helps figuring out how to <laughs> learning the software, learning actually what the software can do. It's amazing how that works. Um, you read the user's manual and all of a sudden you figure out that it has features that you didn't know about before and that make your life easier. So uh, read the directions, boys and girls. Anyway, that's enough from me on the inanity of my life. We are taking a look at Opeth, Blackwater Park. So this has uh, been highly recommended. I get the feeling that this is like, I say it. I say I get the feeling that this is like their magnum opus, but it kind of just feels like that's all they write. So I'm pretty excited for this one. It's a 12 minute track, so we're not going to do the double feature at this point. But this video will come out on my Patreon for my patrons ahead of time. So uh, if you want early access to that, uh, you're already here. So good for you. Hey, thanks. Uh, I appreciate the, the coffee and the beer. Thanks for covering the, the you know, cover charge. Anyway, that's going to be, uh, that's enough talking. Let's get into the music. Okay, I want to stop it there, just because, I, like, I'm getting a lot of color from this. And I've mentioned before that I've used the idea of, like, color to describe the way music feels to me. And so, like, if we're, if we're going to think about something like a Gojira, which is almost, almost, mm -hmm. almost completely grayscale, this is, like, on, on the color spectrum, probably closer to grayscale than it is to something like you know a baby metal where it's real flashy and and real bright and real um so but it but it is interesting to to consider the spectrum in the sense that now there's like sorry my wife was texting me she's uh, uh seven and a half months pregnant and she had a uh she had a a glucose test that she that she took today so as i was saying it's interesting when you consider the the idea of like the the color spectrum and like where bands fall on the color spectrum and like if gojira is all the way at one end and like maybe ba baby metal is all the way at the other i i put opeth definitely closer to the the gojira side of things but and it's like maybe if i it, maybe if we hadn't listened to some of that stuff on the channel i wouldn't even be able to make this connection but there's so much that's it's not it, 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 it it's like embedded right so there's a subtlety in the nature of the color or the flavor that that comes through in this and i dig it a lot
Uh-uh. No, no, no. I need to hear that again. We need to go back. Let's go back about 20 seconds. <laughs> Yo! Yo! No! I can't! I can't! Come on. Come on now. Yo, that's... That... It's, like the... it's fucking cool as shit! It's, the fu it's fucking cool as shit! It's cool as shit I've heard all day. God damn. I need, I need a minute, y'all. All right, just, just listen, just listen. Yo, that, that like, it's not even a scream, really. It's just like a, like a, like a growl. It's so, it's like, so perfectly placed in the mix. And then the, the echo on it, to the it's just mm, mm mm I can't it's a lot Yo, that's a straight up demon. There's a demon in my in my in my headphones. There's a, did you guys know that? Did you know that there was a demon in this I'm sure you did. I'm sure you did. I knew that. What the fuck am I like? Did you guys like of course you knew that. I knew that. I mean, I think the juxtaposition of like the the acoustic guitar work with just like the demon thing. I mean, and like the title Blackwater Park. Is there a more fitting title for what we're listening to right now? Like they nailed it. Just two in, two minutes, 52 seconds. Like I'm already sold on this one. Peaceful yet ominous.
Yeah. Man, there, there's so many influences here, and I'm trying to place even just one of them, and I'm really kind of struggling with it. So uh, if you guys could help me out, I'd appreciate that. I'm sorry, I hate to stop it again, but is that like not the coolest shit ever? Like, I know it's it's like quiet and like maybe reflective, but it's some of the most like articulate and expressive guitar licks that I've that we've ever heard. Like, it's really communicating something. It's not just noise. And then, and, and I've been, I, I wanted to comment earlier, but I didn't because I wanted to give it a minute to, to resonate. But this guitar that's, like, overlaid, right? The, um, the... Like, the distorted guitar that's kind of, like, overlaid um, feels almost out of place if, if we're thinking about this as a, like, a straightforward, maybe like a, a straight, maybe like an interlude or something like that, but it's not really an interlude and I think that's what the guitar, like the distorted guitar, that's the point of it, is to drive home the fact that this is not an interlude. This isn't its own thing. This exists within the context of the story that's being told through the music. And that story is something along the lines of, from what I can tell, from what I'm feeling from this, is there's a, a, you know, there, there's a like a demon or a monster that that is consuming you know, whoever is expressing the music. And so it's like, it's almost like they want to lull you into a false sense of security, almost, but they don't want you to forget entirely what the song's really about. That's pretty cool. Yo, they're so clean sometimes that like I, I have to double check to see did it actually change or was it always that way to, and I just missed it until now, right? Like, come on, listen, are you like, 
the f how is this even possible? How? Oh, oh, okay, sure, why not? Y'all know we're going back to listen to that again, right? Yo, and then that, like, it, the, the acoustic guitar is back, and now it's just, like, in the mix, and so because it, it had been established earlier in the song, not only does it, it, does it not sound out of place, but it's, it's like, there's that, there's an extra layer of resolution to the, to the, to the, te like, the fuck, yo, okay, I, I said we were gonna go back, and we're gonna do that now, because you can't do that, I'm not, I'm gonna just call the police. Getting like a like a harmonic minor vibe to the solo here. I don't know, I just felt like I didn't comment on that. We'll get through it, I promise. We're gonna get through it. Yo!
shit. I'm entranced. The storytelling, the way, you know, the build, the crescendo, the composition, the way that they, like, those those last four to five minutes, how just, like, the, the theme, like, they managed to turn the dial up on the intensity, but stuck true, like, without sacrificing the theme. Like, I legitimately feel like they took me through Blackwater Park. Like I legit, like I didn't even know Blackwater Park was a place, but like I did is it, th- this fucking song is that place, and they, and you listen to it, and they and you and you go f- the fuck through it. Holy shit, dude, 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 speechless. That was the coolest shit. That was the fucking coolest shit ever. God damn. Fuck. Love you guys.